all water dragons. This is your weekly reading for May the 24th to the 30th. I have already pulled the energies for the week. Um, once again, this is a general reading. If this is not suitable for you, please go find um, another signs reading. We're going to start general and then I'm going to break it up and then at the end I'm going to have advice for all three. So if you're not interested in the other ones, just sort of double tap the forward arrow until you find the advice at the end. If this does go long, there will be a part two, so pay attention in the title and in the description I'll be linking it if there is a part two. Okay, if you're wondering <clears throat> what your signs are, I have started another playlist called Tarot Talks and in it I have um, two references that are fantastic to find your birth chart. So you can see the other signs that are actually play roles in your life and what aspects of your life. So it's very important uh, to sort of know that sometimes it's like, mm, you know, you, you might want to veer towards one reading more than the other. Okay, guys, so we are also now in Mercury retrograde. Yay. So let's just get going with this reading, okay? So my water signs, you have the three of pentacles in reverse. So you have a situation where somebody has not been um, playing nicely, right? There's a lack of teamwork. Maybe somebody hasn't appreciated um, your skills, right? So maybe at work you feel like you have not been appreciated at all, okay? Um, it seems like you're releasing um, this energy, either this lack of teamwork. So um, if you're having some sort of friend issues, family issues, right? It's that people have been sort of argumentative and not, not, not helpful. And you're sort of releasing that, okay? Um, you're letting go of some sort of fear um, and unhappiness, okay? And you have the Page of Cups. And this is about a message coming in. I do believe that this message is what's going to help you release this, okay? You're going to finally be able to get over whatever the situation is, okay? And, um, and, and I think that you're going to start to, so you have the Queen of Wands energy. I can't pull in if this is you or if this is somebody else yet. We'll get clarification with the cards, but, um, either it could be a situation to do with a, um, a fire sign, right? Aries, Leo, Sag, or it could also be to do with um, just that you're finding that that you're finding your determination to move on from this, right? Like you've sort of, because water is very fluid and stuff, and you're sort of moving beyond this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get clarification for this with the cards. Okay. So, can I get clarification for the week of May 24th to 30th for Cancer, please? Whoa. Okay, well, we're going to just uh, stop there. So, we have the Page of Cups, which is funny that it came twice. So, things are are synchronizing um, for you, okay? I really get the sense that you're getting a message, okay? Um, you have the Four of Cups. So lots of cups, which is your energy. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Perhaps you're going into more of a meditative state of things because, look, you have the Queen of Cups. Um, Oh, there's another card under here. Okay. So you really want a celebration, okay, with whatever Knight of Swords this is. Or you have a Knight of Swords coming in, but this is very quick. Um might be with Assange. I need to clarify this. Is this Queen of Cups? Is this Cancer? Or is this 
somebody else coming in. I think you're, okay, it's coming. So, okay, you're moving beyond this, okay? Just came, so, all right, sometimes it's, um, it's a little bit, it's like you got to stand back because it's a lot of energy coming in. Okay, you have cups and wands and swords. You have all this energy. So you're actually getting into being in this. Um, I think you're finding that you're, you're actually getting a little bit more calm and some emotional security with this moon in reverse. Okay, and you can see your four of wands. So you can see, so the four of wands is 11-11. So this is the divinely guided thing. Okay, this is meant to happen. Um, it's about harmony. Um, this is bringing you harmony in your life. Okay. Um, it's bringing balance, right? With temperance, definitely bringing balance. And this knight of swords, this is about um, some sort of communication coming in quite quickly. Okay, so that's what all of this is. So you have something coming in very quickly and it's going to actually help you um, put an end to whatever this situation is, okay? Um, I don't know if it's an end, but you're releasing something. You're releasing unhappiness. You're releasing fear, okay? So that's my cancer. So this is a big week for you, okay? So this is going to be a lot of um a lot of closure right you have the page of cups twice okay that's really telling me that um that that there's some sort of synchronicity happening in your life so finally something's coming through for you okay so let's move on to scorpio scorpio <clears throat> cancer, this is good. Um, cancer's readings have been crazy uh, for like months now. So I feel like um, maybe I'm pulling in other Cancer's energy now. Uh, I can't take those. This is for three. <clears throat> so I really get the feeling that um, maybe I'm picking up on some different Cancerian energy. Because for the longest time, it's just like, I don't know who this is, but this needs to needs to go so I'm happy that um, we're moving away from whatever energy that is so if it is the same person <clears throat> oh guys okay you have three major arcana that just came up here so you have the star in reverse so it's almost like you're <sighs> oh guys okay Scorpios oh my goodness okay so you have the star in reverse so you're not, um, you sort of, um, you're feeling discouraged, okay? You've, you, you've, and I have a feeling it's about, um, so it is the lovers. Being a water sign, I am going to say that it's something to do with, um, with what you, a soulmate or a very strong connection. Um, and then you have the hanging mint, so you need to see something from, literally from a different perspective you sort of feel like you've just hung there okay um you may feel like you've been restricted um or that you've sacrificed a lot for this because this star and i get a feeling like this is all this so let's i get a feeling like you guys are actually behind a little bit for my cancers i feel like you guys I hope you guys don't skip ahead, actually, because I do jump around from sign to sign. Um, for my cancers, I get a feeling as soon as this message comes in that your life is just going to take a very big, quick um, turn. Cancer could be to do with love, too. Scorpio, I'm just waiting for more cards to come out because I don't... Uh... Come on. This is why I shuffle off screen sometimes. Oh my god, another major arcana, death. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, guys. So you're going to be releasing this. You're releasing this whole thing. By finding a new perspective, you are actually just... You're releasing all of this energy. 
okay? You're finally being, and this is what I'm getting, okay? This is not really me speaking. It's like you're finally um, able to let something go. Death is also Scorpio. That's you, okay? That's you and your power. Yeah, look, you have the devil in reverse. Another major arcana, you're letting this go, okay? Look, you have your king of coins in reverse. You're letting go of who this was that emotionally manipulated you they were moody they were controlling they probably um took a lot of your coins right so they um they they um they were very controlling and domineering yeah and then you have your five of swords okay so you're it, it's um you were betrayed by them but you're going to be changing okay you are open to change and you're moving beyond this now something happens though i have a feeling it's this page of cups who knows maybe it's somebody that's going to come into your life and it's going to change things for you okay so that's amazing scorpio tough long road but wow you are like all the major arcana it's more divinely guided so you can try to stop it but it's sort of more of those um coincidences or things that happen um, and you don't really have too much control over it so that's really good guys okay Pisces just a second this card here really wants to come out oh come on okay Pisces you have your nine of wands in reverse so um you've been sort of on the edge about something um obviously right it's probably to do with this teamwork thing uh your eight of coins is in the reverse as well um so it's like you've been wanting to go back and probably keep trying to work with this and i don't see it happening yeah, look at this. You have the Ace of Coins and then the King of Coins. You have so much Earth in here. It's crazy. Um, your Ace of Coins and... So you're, you're like manifesting. You've been working. I think you've actually been working hard at trying to get rid of this situation, okay? Ace of um, Pentacles is manifesting. You've been trying to move on from this and moving on. And when you get this message, okay, um, you have the Knight of Coins. So you're, you're going to be moving into a space of, um, so this one in particular, this curve in, curd in particular is, is movement. Okay. Usually the pentacles are pretty grounded. This one is actually moving and in this deck and I see that it's just, you're going to be finding your power again with this. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, your nine of cups is upside down as well. So you have two nines here, okay? Um, and you've had a few setbacks. You've definitely had some setbacks, okay? But this knight of coins is coming in. An ace so this is just new that's okay right this is just for a week um, nines are about coming to conclusions okay so make sure that you're drawing conclusions and ending it okay yeah look now you have your oh wait oh nine of cups I don't know why I read that as coins I just feel like you've been unhappy okay because now look your cut your coins look at this all these coins coming in it's good news for you Pisces okay so I'm gonna pause this while I pull cards for you guys okay guys so I pulled the cards for the signs cancer you guys got chop wood okay um, you guys have a lot of cleaning up to do okay um 
you need to um, put in some work and you need to clean things up. And I believe that as soon as this message comes in, you're going to start to clean house quite well, which is actually funny because Pisces is clean it up too. So everybody has a whole lot of um, cleaning. To, sorry, Scorpio. Scorpio has cleaned it up. And then message in a bottle for Pisces. So Pisces, I think as soon as this message does come in for you, like, and I, it's going to happen with this Knight of Pentacles. Okay, guys? So a lot of work, a lot of good work being put in. Okay? So just be open to the message that the universe is going to send you. Okay? Please remember to like and share and subscribe. I appreciate the love. Thank you. Bye, guys.